welcome to Newsbreak, the show covering everything happening around Charles County Public Schools. I'm Yachi Madan. I'm Emily Belson. And I'm Eric Valentine. Much like your Christmas stockings, we have some goodies for you in our latest episode. We celebrate the spirit of the holiday season and how schools spread joy among their communities. And what would the holiday be without a little drama? Ugh. Oh. But first, time to meet the champs. Give the first name of this Beverly Cleary character with an older sister named Jesus Quimby. Ramona, final answer. That's correct. Congratulations to North Point High School. They are the 2020 It's Academic Camps for Charles County Public Schools. Much like most things because of COVID-19, the format was altered with each team answering 24 questions over three rounds and held via Zoom. North Point tallied 300 points followed by La Plata with 260 and McDonough with 250. Normally, we talk to the team about winning and representing Charles County Public Schools on its academic on WRC TV, but we felt compelled to ask about the unusual format. I didn't feel as nervous as, you know, my friend was saying she was, um, but it was also really fun just to do it like this. I felt like it's a lot more pressure <laughs> than doing it live. I was just super grateful that we even got to have it this year. I was so consigned to uh, just not even having a competition. So I'm utterly ecstatic to be here. This is also my first time competing. I've been doing it second for three years and it was definitely um, a different first experience <laughs> for sure. And it was a good experience overall. North Point will compete against Centerville and Poolsville High Schools on WRC TV's It's Academic. You can watch the match on February 26th. If you would like to watch CCPS's It's Academic, head to ccboe.com slash ccpstv and look under the Special Programs tab or visit the Charles County Public Schools YouTube page. You have all heard the phrase, the show must go on. Besides being used ad nauseum by a cliche-driven producer, it's been uttered a lot in drama troops worldwide. COVID-19 isn't stopping theater troops at several Charles County high schools from showing you some drama. Hey, so I'm trying to log back into the network and it's not, like, working. Oh, okay. Boy, that's a challenge. I'm glad I picked up this call. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Walk me through how terribly difficult this is. These two students are not being snide with one another, but are instead rehearsing for Henry E. Lackey High School's virtual play, Help Desk, a stay-at-home play. You can guess what the show is about. The Chargers rehearsed for several weeks in preparation for their December 11th show date. One of the unique things about the virtual play format is you have a limited window to show the play online, similar to how a live stage production lasts for a few days. We talked to the cast and crew of Lackey about the pros and cons of doing a virtual play. We can't quite do everything we would normally do together and it might not be as clear when we're going back and forth with our conversations, but when we're doing it a, through online, we can, there's more, we can share this with more people. Teaching the freshmen how to act and how to actually mentor them into growing into becoming actors. And it's, it's very difficult to do that online, but overall, I'm just thankful to have theater again. It's a little strange to work on these shows virtually as a techie, but it's interesting to get this experience and become more well-rounded as a person in theater so I can tackle more things so that way when we get back to the building, I can figure out a bunch of plan Bs and plan Cs in case things don't go right. La Plata High will hold the Brothers Grimm Spectacular-Thon on December 18th, followed by the Enchanted Bookshop Christmas on December 19th. Both shows start at 7.30. To watch either show, email the address on the screen. In January, Maurice J. McDonough High School's Drama Department will perform Game of Tiara's Stay at Home Edition virtually on January 8th and 9th. The show will be available at the link listed on your screen. Both Westlake and St. Charles High Schools will put on shows later in 2021. Virtual plays were not the only efforts Charles County Public Schools made to bring smiles to the community. We paid a visit to a few schools during their material distribution days a few weeks before winter break to see how each spread holiday joy in their own unique and creative ways. We do material.
material distribution every three weeks, but we know that the holidays are coming and our staff are really missing our parents and really missing our students. So we thought we'd put some holiday cheer on, decorate their tables, get dressed up, bring a special guest from up north, just to spread some cheer and to bring some happiness to our, our students and our families and community during this time. We are not celebrating any one particular holiday, but the holiday that our children will have over winter break. It also will allow them just again to see the staff in a lighthearted way while they're doing something that is very necessary with the instructional bags. I think for staff morale, you know, we try to keep things up, but we don't get to see staff every day. Some are working from home, some are working here at school. Today is a day we bring them all together. To bring a little happiness to the staff, a little happiness to our community, it makes all the world to me. We encourage parents to bring their children today with them when they came to pick up the materials. We wanted teachers to really be able to see their students because some of them really haven't been able to see their children. We had Christmas trees and gingerbread girls and Santa Clauses and reindeer. So I just feel like people needed to see one another, even if it was just in passing. Something that's very important to me, and I think probably to every school, is that you have a sense of community. And I think this has, is reinforcing that while we're apart, we still are a family. We wish all of our families a very safe and happy holiday. But please know that we miss every single one of you, and that we are looking forward to the day that we can hug our students again and be back in here into the building. segment that gives you the dates, times, places, and events you need to know. That is why we call it News to Know. Winter break starts on December 23rd and runs to January 1st. All schools and offices will be closed during that time period. Charles County Public Schools has expanded its operating hours at the 17 meal sites, which you can find at the link listed on your screen. You can now pick up meals from 7 to 8 in the morning and 10.30 to 1.30 in the afternoon. Families can also pick up weekend meal bags on each Friday for any Charles County child ages 2 to 18. Meal items include salads, wraps, ready-to-heat pasta entrees, along with fresh fruit, vegetables, and milk. Meals will not be offered during winter break. That will wrap it up for this episode of News Break. I'm Yachty McGon, wishing you a happy holidays. I'm Emily Belson. We hope you enjoyed our episode, and please enjoy your holiday safely and responsibly. And I'm Eric Valentine, and I'm just going to say what everyone worldwide is thinking. Goodbye and good riddance to 2020, and we can't wait to see you next year. Bye! Bye. Bye.